in my mind, I feel like I am a collector of brushes, not a hoarder. Question is, do I get rid of these brushes? Hell no. Do I continue to buy more brushes? That is the question. And why do I love makeup brushes so much? I mean, these are the ones that I have on my desk for daily use. And obviously they are packed. I mean, I struggle to put brushes in here. These are, like you really couldn't fit one more brush in here. You could if you tried, but eh. So then I have this kind of thing happening, which I, I don't think I've got a problem with brushes. I mean, yeah, okay, I know some people have seen my brushes and they're like, so I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a hoarder and I wouldn't certainly call myself a collector because there are millions of other people out there. I know who you are. I know you YouTubers. I know you influencers who you are that have that have thousands more brushes than I ever will. So for me, mine is more of a, it's not even a hobby. It's just because I love makeup so much, I want to be able to apply, apply my makeup with confidence, with ease, with structure, with the promise of the fact that whatever I'm gonna be putting on my face, this brush is gonna make it work just perfectly. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, so let's talk about some of the brushes that I'm actually obsessed with. I do have a couple of brands that I really do love. And um, yeah, but having said that, in terms of the brushes that I really do love, it changes, it always does. There's great brushes from ColourPop. There's great brushes from Real Techniques. There's excellent brushes from uh, this brand here, Refi, Refi. I don't know, this company, I don't even know what it's called, REFY. Excellent brushes from, you know, Charlotte Tilbury, Too Faced, Morphe, Spectrum Cosmetics. The list goes on and on. Wayne Goss, uh, you know, like, and obviously Westman Atelier has brushes. Um, a lot of makeup, like a lot of makeup artists have their own set line of brushes. And honestly, it's just a lot, a lot of brushes. So I'm going to dive into some of the brands that I've got here that I have purchased over the years. And yeah, so let's start off with this one here. Now, my brushes, I've taken them out and I put them into packages that aren't even belonging to actual brands so that's okay now this one here you can see it's a morphe by jeffree star i went ahead and bought brushes from jeffree star back god knows when back when he was um maybe a little bit normal but if you get my drift um but these brushes let's have a look and see what we've got coming out you'll have to excuse the many little bits of um I've got a lot of like cotton buds in here as well. Just plain clean ones, obviously. But um, I, I'm gonna have to clean them out because the eyeshadows have dusted all over them now. So the eyeshadow brushes have left their markings on them. And it's just a good time for me to actually go ahead and see if you know what I mean, cotton buds. Okay. Now, in here, I have some Fenty brushes. I have obviously some Jeffree Star brushes. I've got some Huda Beauty brushes. And then I've also got in another bag, which, where is it? Um, BK Beauty brushes by the, um, by Angie. Maybe, oh, they are. I think they're, they're all, they were all in here. Sorry for the rambling on and not really being sure, but I'm, I'm dropping them everywhere, as you can see. So yeah, these are some brushes. I'm not gonna go through what brushes I've got. I'm just merely just showing you the brushes that the brands that I've got in this particular makeup bag or brush bag. So this one here is a Fenty brush, um, Huda Beauty, uh, we've got some Jeffree Star brushes, obviously they're um, intertwined in here. I thought, 
I had, um, yeah, the Jeffrey, the Jeffrey Star by Morphe brushes. That's right. And um, you know, I I love my brushes. I I cherish them. I look after them where I do my best to look after them anyway. And um, I'm just going to put them back in here. It's really awkward for me to hold them, but they're just some of the brushes that I keep in this makeup bag. Now, a long, long time ago, I went ahead and bought these really popular brushes. And I don't know if they're still popular, but it was a range that first came out with this. This is obviously a dupe. Um, this one's by Real Techniques. Yeah, this is a Real Techniques foundation brush. I'm just gonna try and find out what the original ones were. It was by this brand here. God, I've got to really do a bit of dusting on this, but by the brand called Artis. So they were sort of like these tips of brushes. Look at the dust. This is because I haven't used them and dust has collected on these brushes. I know, I am gonna clean them, I will. I'm definitely going to. So I've got that range um, and they also came in the smaller sizes. So um, in terms of foundation brushes, you know, like I said, I'm just going to zoom my camera down here so you can see. Maybe that's better. You know, maybe that's a little bit better. Maybe I'll put this up a bit higher and we can look at it that way. I just took a, an, accidental, an accidental photo of that. <laughs> um, but it, yeah, so these are the brushes. And how many times am I going to say brushes? We've got Skipling brushes. Uh, bear with me for one moment. Bloom is wanting a cookie. Just one moment. So that is the brushes. I mean, you know, we've got powder brushes and we have foundation brushes eyeshadow brushes to the galore i mean i'll just pull these ones out these are all my spectrum brushes over here and i do keep them sort of contained in either a cup holder or a little vase but um i try to also group them together so eyeshadow brushes all stick together if you get my drift uh for example we have also, sometimes I group them together by brands. This is the Refi eyeshadows, um, which also they come. Sorry if you heard my stomach growl just there, but I've tried to group all the powder bronzer brushes together, blush brushes and all the other um, eyeshadow brushes, stippling brushes, um, fan brushes together. And then um, again, just some more eyeshadow brushes by some random brands like Eco Tools and uh, Inglot, uh, Model Co. And then I've got some just real random brands like from Essence. You know, sometimes they have brushes that they come out with when they do their makeup collections. And I love to buy their brushes, you know. They're actually in my bathroom. I'm not going to get them out now because honestly, I just, I just can't. My wrist is actually annoying me at the moment because I can't move freely. But these, um, I've tried to group these all together as my uh, eyeliner, eyebrow, um, lower eyelash, eyelining brushes. Um, I've also tried to maybe group them by shape being sort of like you know pencil brushes and maybe dome shaped brushes you know guys it, it's crazy but anyway this is what more can i say i i'm doing my very best i'll just put this back up here um i am actually doing my very best to refrain myself from buying any more brushes i know i don't need any more i've got so many and the thing that makes me always want to buy a new brush is Obviously, when I see someone talking about their brushes, I, I nearly came close to buying the new Wayne Goss collection um, of the synthetic brushes, that is the white gold ones that have recently come out now from Beautylish. I'm not gonna buy them, I don't need them. I have so many brushes that these are just gonna last me until the day I die and then some, right? They're just, they're gonna last. Maybe the only time I'm ever gonna get a brush now is if it's sent to me 
which that would be lovely. Um, send me your brushes if anyone's watching this and I'll do a review. Um, but yeah, I love brushes. Are you a makeup brush lover like me? Let me know. I um, have a video of how to sort of use brushes in between doing eyeshadows and um, how to clean in between. Also, I do uh, usually do a nice cleaning of my brushes by using, um, at the moment, it's just that soap that you get and you lather it up and you let it dry naturally. I was using Cinema Secrets to um, use it in that spin machine and it's just very drying. It dries like that, but the smell of Cinema Secrets is so strong. It's overbearing and you go through the product like that and it's very expensive. So nice and slow, wash it with um, the sponge puff as well. There's a special cleanser that I use as well, which it's like $3 from this daisy store in australia it's like a, a japanese store that sells all these excellent makeup buys and um, just general items in like ten dollars or less or it's just really 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 good quality and cheap so i use that to clean my brushes and let them dry flat on a towel um but in terms of my everyday makeup i do use these these ones that are on my desk and as you can see, full, full to the brim, like, you know, I don't know. I've got an obsession with brushes and I don't feel bad about it. I don't feel guilty about it. Let me know, do you have a brush fetish as well? <laughs> it's not really a brush fetish, but do you like your makeup brushes? Let me know in your comments. Let me know in the comments below. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot to show you this. I also have this one, which is my hourglass brush. I don't know why I like to keep this one on a pedestal. It's so soft, this hourglass brush, it's double-sided. Um, I think these ones I kept in here mainly because some of them are mainly just double-sided brushes. And yeah, so that's that. I like this brush as well. It was came like, like a freebie in some, some uh, I don't know, mystery bag. I don't know, the brand is called Lulu and Lipstick. Really, really cute. Um, yeah, a combination of different brushes, guys. So I am, yeah, I don't know what else. I thought, you know, why would I do a content video about makeup brushes? I thought, why not? But I think deep down inside, it's just for me to actually reorganize my brushes again and maybe dust them off and give them a good, you know, maybe switch out some of the ones that are in here and use some of the ones that are in the box, to, so to speak. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe share it with someone who is a makeup brush obsessed person like I am. Sorry I didn't go so in depth in terms of the types of brushes. If you are keen on me doing a video regarding a specific type of brush for the face, let me know. I love you and leave you. Bye for now. I'm just putting them here for now. They're not gonna stay here forever.